one of the first big things you want to do anytime you're trying to figure out how to climb ascensions is make sure that you don't just grab the first thing that comes to mind. Every console, PC, whatever you're playing on, you have the option to look at your map to see if you actually should take the next three combats having one hit point. What do we want to look for? Well, the first three fights are always going to be a little bit easier, so we want to see if we can get to an elite by the third fight. So if I look at this path here, I have a small opportunity to do so, but only if my question rooms are both events. If I get a fight, or if I fight against a bad guy here, then I'm going to have to take the elite full on. And am I going to have the, the skills to do that? I don't know. So we need to make sure we grab some cards that are going to help to do that the right way. But I do have a campfire here that I can at least do an upgrade before taking on that elite if that ends up being an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and take that route and we'll see what happens. So first fights are always going to be easy, but what we want early on in the act is we want high dealing damage. So 12 damage from Sneaky Strike is really going to help us out there, especially if we take on an elite. Potions are always nice. Now Noxious Fumes looks really good here. Um, it, it actually isn't a bad card, but it's not going to help a lot uh, in early on in the game unless we face the sentries early. Deadly Poison, even though it is a skill card, is a damage dealer, so I'm probably going to go ahead and take that. It's also good against the Hexaghost because he doesn't split. So let's go ahead and take the Deadly Poison. And here's another example of what do you want to get rid of in order to save or to get a new relic. I've got a shop coming up, so I don't want to lose all of that 86 gold. I just picked my poison as the main damage dealer, so I don't want to get rid of that either. So I am probably want to go ahead and get rid of my potion. And this is a good one to have. You know, We're going to heal every time we use potions, which potions are pretty important. So going into the shop with 120... I could skip it just in case I want to get something really special, but I'm going to go ahead and look in here anyways. Don't forget, you can always remove cards here. Um, that's not just for curses. Sometimes you want to get rid of strikes or cards that you picked up early that are no longer useful in your deck. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a strike here. I mean, I can't afford anything else, so let's go ahead and move on. And there's our third fight, so we're not going to be able to snipe an elite for one hit point, but that's okay. We've got some good cards already built up, and I think we... Yep, grabbing a Blade Dance here as well is going to definitely make it so we can take on that early elite. So let's go ahead and take that. I'm still at full health going into this campfire. So I'm going to be able to just go ahead and do an upgrade. So this takes us from 12 to 16 damage and gives us another card to play. So we're going to upgrade Blade Dance. Now against the Gremlin Knob here, um, the Blade Dance and Poison Potion might end up hurting us. But I think we can deal enough damage early on to go ahead and mitigate that. So we're just going to go ahead and buff him, even though it's not really what you want to do. We have to deal poison, we have to be able to deal damage. Same here with the blade dance. It's going to buff him, but we need to deal the damage. So we're just going to end up taking 18 to the face here, but we've already got him down to 32, and that won't be too big of a problem. And it was worth it, because Happy Plower is going to give us plenty of extra energy we need in order to deal heavy hitting cards. And, of course, fighting elites, you have a higher chance of finding a rare card. I'm not going to take Doppelganger this early on, because we don't need skills right now, we need damage. So I'm going to end up taking the Flying Knee to get a little more energy manipulation, and now we can move forward. Taking 8 when we can't even attack. 
Ghost in a Jar is going to be great later on. Um, Dash is probably the best card you can pick up early in the game. It It's an attack, so it's not going to proc the Gremlin Knob, but it also gives us 10 block as part of that attack. And it, it hits harder than any of the cards we start with. Bronze Scales are always going to be great to have, of course. I'm going to go ahead and go for another Elite here. 29 health shouldn't be too terrible early on. We just got to make sure to play things right. And this dash is already going to help us out here by making it so we don't take any damage on turn one. And you always want to take down the sentries one at a time, starting with the one on the left or the one on the right. doesn't really matter. And now we'll be able to take him out. Uh, we haven't taken hardly any damage here. And Ginger is a great relic to have. Being able to uh, avoid being weak is going to help us when we need to hit harder. I'm thinking Dash could be useful, having a second one, but also having a Dagger Spray to go up against any um, Slime Gangs or the Gremlin Gang here towards the end of the act. Dealing 8 damage to all of them at once is going to be good. So this is probably one I might end up getting rid of later, depending on how our deck fans out. But it's one that's really useful to have late Act 1 and early into Act 2. Moving on, I've got half health. I could heal, but again, if I upgrade some cards, then it's going to, it's going to help us take less damage. Because we're going to deal more and get fights over faster. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my dash here. More block and more damage all together at once. Here you want to look at how much gold you have, see if you got any shops coming up. I do, so I don't want to spend too much gold on a potion, but I will take one. And then here against Laga, um, this is going to be, you know, this can be a tough one. We don't have a whole lot of weak dealing or anything, so we need to come out hitting as hard as we can. And I'm going to take the Jack of All Trades here, get a free card, and now I can do a lot of damage this first turn. But I'm going to go ahead and use my potion as well to deal even more. And we're going to take him down to, you know, under half health after turn one. And then we get a free turn. And we end up only taking five damage from lag dealing. And we get the ornamental fan, which is great to have as the silent. We've already getting some shivs going. With that fan, every three attacks you play per turn is going to give you four free block. So every time we play Blade Dance, it's going to deal 16 damage and give us four block. A couple of things we could do in this shop that Hand Agreed would be great. Um, the Lantern is also nice to have. But what I think I'm going to do instead, going into this fight here, I'm going to get another Poison card, and then I'm going to get rid of one of my useless strikes. Now, as we prepare to take on the Hexaghost, we only have 40 health. But if we rest, then he is going to actually hit harder on his first damage dealing turn. He's got that big multi-hit attack that hits harder and it scales based on how much health you have left. So rather than make him hit harder, let's go ahead and upgrade a card in order to, you know, deal more damage to him instead. I'm going to upgrade Neutralize because he's got a lot of attacks where dealing weak is going to really cripple him. So hopefully we can draw those at the right time. Here, our first hand isn't incredible, but we're going to be able to go ahead and poison him at least. And um, we want to look and see here, 13 damage versus 8 and 6. So we can do 13 or 14. So dash isn't necessarily the answer all the time, especially when we don't need to block. And on turn 2 here, see, now he's only hitting 4 damage 6 times. Plus, we have our Neutralize. We can go ahead and drop that down even further. 
And then I think I'm going to go ahead and poison him here. And here's an example of making sure to play your cards in the right order. And here we have no trouble taking down the Hexaghost. We only got hit a few times. And just make sure, um, even though we've got lethal with poison there, make sure to block so those burns don't hit you at the end of our turn. And then we're, we're setting ourselves up pretty good to go into Act 2. Let's see what card we can grab. Alchemize is always great, especially since we have the toy Ornithopter. Unload would be great if we hadn't grabbed a whole lot of damage cards here, but Wraith Form is what I'm really looking at here. Um, it has its pros and cons, but being able to go two turns, three turns after it's upgraded with only taking one damage, it's really going to be helpful. So let's take that. And then looking at our... And then looking at our relics, we, these are all actually really good options. Black Star, we've been taking on a lot of elites, so getting two extra relics, or an extra relic every time would be great. Calling Bell is always fun, getting three relics, but what I'm looking at here is going to be the Sneko Eye. Uh, we just picked up Wraith Form, and we've got a couple other um, high cost cards in our deck here, so that's going to allow us to play those even more often. And I'm going to just go ahead and take the Sneko Eye. We'll be going to Act 2. What's the first thing we want to do? Look at our boss, the Champ. Champ is really strong, and it hurts a lot against the Silent. So what are we going to look for? We're going to look for things that apply weak. We're going to look for more poison. We need to look for ways to scale our blocking quickly. So those are big things we need to find by the end of the Act. Well, let's see what do we have now here at the beginning. We've got a shop on floor three here we could take. We've also got a shop going this way. 100, we probably have close to 150 gold by the time we get there. What else do we have? No elites before a campfire going this way. I'd like to still look for some more elites, so I'm probably going to count that out. But... Act 2 has some really good events. We've got two events here we could hit before taking on this elite. I don't see a whole lot interesting going on with this path. But if I go here, I've got two bad guys, an event, and again, Act 2 has really good events. And then we've got a shop, and then a campfire, and an elite. So, I really don't have any early elites I can work on here. So if that's the case, what, what comes next? Well, if we go for this campfire, then we've got an elite and we can hit up one more elite before we get to the end. We could go another elite here. What if we take this route? We've got one elite, chest, campfire, elite. We could possibly take three elites going this way, depending on what our fight looks like here. Or... Well, let's not take that way, because there was... I think I'm going to take this right path and see what we can do. Neko is not helping us a whole lot here at the beginning but we've got some free block we can use at least we've got a free attack chosen is next turn gonna play his uh his hex so neutralize isn't gonna help us a whole lot other than saving five so i can play neutralize and blade dance And I get 4 and 16, that's 20 damage. Or we could play Dash and Strike, which is going to be 19 damage, but it's going to mitigate 5 coming to us. Hmm. 
do that. All right, zero cost wraith form. Probably going to be what I go for here. Uh, but let's see what else we can get with our backflip before we do it. All right, so... Well, it's only going to give us one turn of intangibility in effect. You can apply 10 poison or deal 12 damage. So poison is going to affect more turns later on, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the poison now. Now let's go ahead and use Wraith Form not gonna be too big of a deal. Okay. I can deal 12 with Sneaky Strike. We can deal 20 playing three of, three of the cheaper cards. Okay, dash is going to be big help here. Okay, that would be 13 damage plus 8 is 21. We'd only need to come up with 6 more in order to take him out. There we go. Okay, so what were we looking for again? We were looking for ways to scale. That's what Act 2 is all about. So Blade Dance Plus is going to give us, you know, another 16 damage card. Uh, Bane Plus is a 20 damage card if it's poisoned, so it's not super helpful early on, but could be later. Infinite Blades, I don't really think we've got enough going on yet to put an Infinite Blades in. I'm going to take another Blade Dance. The one thing you want to remember with these guys is after three or four turns, they're going to run away with the gold they've stolen from you. So what I typically like to do here is focus on taking one down as quickly as I can, and then hopefully I have enough time to take out the second one too. So I'm going to start out this fight by playing backflip. Actually, I've got nine cards. Let's not play backflip yet, because we'll end up throwing one away. Let's start by playing Flying Knee. So that now when I draw some cards, we don't end up throwing anything out. Okay, it wasn't great. I'm going to grab a Defend. And then... Poison is typically what I'm going to be looking for here, but it's only going to do 5, whereas if we play Sneaky Strike and Dagger Spray, we're dealing 20 to one of them and 8 to the other. So let's go ahead and do that. We also got a little more uh, block there. Alright, Dash is going to be huge. We can take him out and on this turn and then that also means we're gonna have block from this guy over here so we're gonna start out by playing that now we have a choice to make we can take wraith form which is gonna make us intangible this turn and next but that's not gonna give us any chance to play any of our attacks this turn we can neutralize him to make him hit less next turn I'm going to go with Blade Dance here to take him down 16, and hopefully by next turn we can we can deal 22 damage in one go. Okay, so he's not hitting us at all this turn. Let's see, we can do 6, and 16 is going to be 22, which all, all we need is 19, so...
managed to get all of our gold back. Skewer's not going to be super helpful yet, because at most we're running 4 energy in one turn. So it's only 28 damage, not huge. Uh, Sneko Eye really doesn't have any kind of energy with Skewer. Another Dagger Spray is decent, 8 damage. Uh, we have a lot of different AoE fights in Act 2. Or we could take Acrobatics, which is going to allow us to draw more cards to, to find what we really need. Don't have a whole lot of card draw yet in the deck. I think we only have... And we don't have any kind of card draw yet, other than backflip. So, let's take acrobatics. I'm going to hit this event and hope I can get a little more gold for the shop. All right, the vampires. 21 max hit points lost to receive five bites, which is going to give us some sustain. We'll be able to heal every every fight. Uh, the bites are a little bit stronger than the strikes, but we've already removed two strikes. So that's going to put two more cards into our deck that we may or may not want to hang on to. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, we should be fine with with 49 hit points. Moving on to the shop. Okay. Potheosis, of course, is always a good card to have. And that would especially synergize well with those uh, bites we just got. Moves that up to three sustained hit points every turn or every time it's used that will take up most of our gold i'm not seeing a pair would have been nice to have if we could have afforded it i think apotheosis is the right choice here uh, noxious fumes i like but I don't like it as much as I like Apotheosis here. And hopefully we can upgrade that here at this campfire. Okay. So Sneko is actually going to give us the Confused effect, which we already have because we have Sneko Eye. So nothing's really extra going to happen there. I am going to apply some poison to it. And then we can deal some damage with Blade Dance. Okay, I think, yeah, the turn here is going to be Apotheosis. Wraith Form gets three intangible now uh, when it'll be upgraded. We'd be able to do seven poison as well and probably bite. we were able to block that too so now every time we play a blade dance we're gonna get we're gonna generate four block out of it too okay let's start with backflip draw a few more cards Free bite we can play. I think the turn here is flying knee and dagger spray. 
that's gonna deal 12 and 11 that's 23 plus 10 poison so he's gonna only have one hit point left after this turn which we can easily take down I think Dash is going to be a good one here. Um, again, synergizes well with Snekowai, gives us a lot of attack and block at the same time. So let's go ahead and take Dash. And then I'm already at full health, don't need that. Let's upgrade. Potheosis. And we can see about this elite now. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't need to upgrade Apotheosis because of Sneko Eye. Well, that was dumb. Okay. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. So let's go ahead and play. Apotheosis and our dagger spray. Typically, want to take him out first, and I think that's still the play here. And then we'll use our Entropic Boom next turn. Oof, it's rough. Okay, so with Blade Dance, if we rank our flex potion it's gonna be nine on each one of them so it's 36 damage we can spread across which if we use the fire potion as well we can take out two of them If I don't take... I think that's the play. Ah! Or I could gain some block here. 13. Okay, so if I do this... I play dash... I'm only going to end up taking six damage. And I have both of them to face against the next turn. If I play Blade Dance, I'm taking seven or 12 damage. I'm gonna play Dash and save my potions. out the blue guy here take one apologize if you can hear my birds in the background they're not happy today okay So I 
I didn't play that right either. Lost one of my shivs. Okay. Um... And we'll finish off with a bite. Okay, that could have gone better. But we're still doing okay. I think Piercing Whale is what I want here. That's going to help mitigate heart attacks, or at least one heart attack from the champ. Okay. Poison's going to be great here. I think... Let's see, that puts us up to 15. Block. Okay, this looks better. All right, and got that taken care of. Acrobatics. Get rid of piercing whale. Apotheosis. Knee. Bite. damage. Okay. And I'm going to finish with some health. Eviscerate actually is going to go really well with a Sneko Eye. Although I could use... How much card draw do I have so far? One acrobatics. One backflip. I think I'm going to go with eviscerate. I can take second elite here. And if things go poorly, we can hit these campfires. Or if things go well, we could take a third elite. Alright, that's going to go great with our Blade Dance and Fibs. Real question is, do I want to heal here? Or is there something else I need to upgrade? I think I'm going to... Typically I'd... Typically I'd upgrade here. Um, with our lower hit points though, I'm going to go ahead and rest with the hopes that we can take two elite. Alright. Stabby Book, of course, is going to get bigger and harder every time we, uh, every turn. So we need to be able to take care of him quickly. This will let us get some extra damage or extra energy from Sneaky Strike. I'm going to get rid of Neutralize here. I don't want to play that for three. Poison for sure. And one more damage next turn. 
Now I've got my pin nib. I could play bite for 14, or I could hope to get... I think I'm going to wait and hope that we can get Eviscerate next turn. Okay, no Eviscerate. 26. Four. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Okay. Now I'm gonna do, I think, Blade Dance Bite Bite. So we can block some more, get some strength. Okay. Definitely going to go with a one cost Wraith form here. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Ninja Scroll's great with a shiv deck. Uh, smoke Bomb will be nice. And let's do... How much discard do we have? I like Sucker Punch to deal more weak. Sneaky Strike might actually... I think I like a little more poison here, actually. Great time for everyone to say caw caw down in the comments section. Like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Alright, this is going to end up being a great opening hand. all the attacks. We may not even end up needing to block. Okay, pen nib is ready. We're left. Okay, let's go Wraith form. Late dance. I think eviscerates the, the choice here. Thirteen damage three times is thirty nine damage. And we got an easy out here. I think prepared. Get a little more card draw and discard to go with the um, discard synergy. Okay. Now the real question is... Yeah, let's go ahead and be a little aggressive here. Try to take on the elite.
Okay, we can knock down the bird. Sixty damage with pin nib chosen. Get rid of that block. Um, when you can, definitely focus on taking out the bird first. I'll use three form. Two blade dances will do it. I think I'll keep the potions I have. Um, we've got regen built into the deck, so we'll be good there. Um, adrenaline, I like. Yes, let's take adrenaline. Okay. These guys again. might actually blow my smoke bomb here. Don't like the way this looks at all. Yeah, let's use the smoke bomb. Save the save the health for the boss fight. Which means I can go ahead and upgrade my wraith form. Or adrenaline. Let's go ahead and upgrade adrenaline. Okay, Wraith Form definitely not one we want to play on turn one here. So, let's go ahead give him some poison. And we've got our pen nib, so let's see what we draw. Nothing big. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just use dash for the pen nib. I will stop there this turn. <laughs> going to be taking some damage this turn for sure um i think i'll hold off on apotheosis for three work on these guys to get a little bit more rank so let's Definitely take my free dash. Okay. 
Let's see what we can get with prepared. Nothing useful. Okay. Oh, that could have been useful. Well, next time. I'm gonna save this for later. Just give him some more poison. Weakening. Actually, oh, good thing I caught that. So we'll play dagger spray with the pin nib. Then we'll weaken him. That ginger's coming in handy. Okay, free poison. I can get this, I can get Eviscerate to play on the pin nib. Then we'll take a lot of damage, but I think that's the way to go here. So let's do this, gain some strength. So we'll do Flying Knee. And then we'll do Blade Dance. And pin nib rocks on the next. It's going to be 40 damage three times, 120. Thank you very much. We'll take some damage from him. He's about to heal and buff himself really hard, so I really need to make sure I take him out this turn, which I can because he's only got, or he's got 10 uh, poison that's going to be applied. So I want to heal myself as much as I can. And that's the champ. See what we get here. I can take another Wraith form. But bullet time's also really good. Especially with Mecha I think I'm gonna take a bullet time here. Okay, definitely don't want to take the Velvet Choker. Uh, we're playing way more than six cards every turn. Philosopher's Stone would hurt as well because of the fact that, well, as the Silent, we are already weaker and we're lower on health. And the Sacred Bark is going to synergize with our Toy Ornithopter. That makes me really wish we could have grabbed the White Beast statue way back when. I'm going to go ahead and take the Bark. Okay, so moving on to Act 3 now. Um, since we're running a Shiv deck, I can almost guarantee we're going to end up running into the Time Slug as our final boss, but let's find out. Yep, there we go. So what's that mean? Well, Time Slug limits you at playing 12 cards per turn, which is going to really hurt Shivs. So we need to uh, make sure we can either deal 12 cards every turn, or we need to find a way that we can break it down by six or four so we can have effective turns every every time. So we've got 221 gold. Act three is all about refining the deck that we've got. So if we look here, we've got Wraith Form, which is gonna be good. We've got some poison cards, three poisons, and we've got some shivs. Shivs are going to be our big help because, well, first of all, we start every we start every hand or every combat with three shivs in our hand. 
so that's nice. We've also got our shuriken, which is going to give us um, an additional strength every time we play three attacks. So right there alone, we play those three shivs we start with and we gain a strength. That's good. And we've also got our ornamental fan, which every three attacks is going to give us four block. So turn one of every of every fight, we gain a plus one strength and plus four block automatically. So we want to look for ways to to um, capitalize on that. So I could start here, go to this first shop, and then we've got a few elites here before campfire. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Or I could take an event and an extra bad guy before we hit this shop. But then I miss the campfire over here. Uh, since we sacrificed some of our health earlier, we might want to take the route that's going to let us go back to the campfire. I think I'm going to do that. 220 gold's plenty to use in a shop. Alright, the Darklings, you always fight three of them at the same time. If you take them out and the others are still alive, you have one turn to take out the other two before they come back on the next turn. So this is an instance where you don't want to focus everything on one guy at a time. You want to uh, kind of spread your damage out evenly among them. So I've got a lot of great zero cost cards in my hand here. So let's go ahead, start spreading some damage. And these guys do hit pretty hard if, you, if you're not careful. So let's see what we can find. Well, that wasn't too helpful at all. Okay. So, let me get some block here. Let's deal 13 to him. Do a sneaky strike. I'm going to do another blade dance. All right. I think we should be able to go ahead and play Wraith form this turn. Do I... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade everything. We'll play Wraith form. No, we won't take anything. Oh, I guess we'll take one. Okay, so we can take out either one of these guys this turn, which I think we'll probably do. It came out two. And then now we've got three left to play with. So I can deal... Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll take him out next turn. I'd love to just place some poison on him so we can save our pin dip for the next fight. What is next? Oh, it's a regular combat. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't find some poison. I guess we're not going to get it. Okay. So then we'll just use bite here. Get some shivs, that's nice. Another thing we want to look for is ways to generate potions. So if we could find an alchemize, that would be incredible. I'm going to take another backflip here so we can draw more cards. Let's see what the merchant has for us. Oh, 
Okay, so Dolly's Mirror um, lets us uh, copy a card in our deck. We could use that to copy our Wraith form. What, what else could we do? None of these potions are blowing my skirt up. Lizard Tail is always nice to have, but of course we can't afford it. Is there anything I really need to get rid of? Yeah, so let's go ahead and let's use Dolly's Mirror on our Wraith Form. That's going to be helpful later on against the Time Slug. And then let's save the rest. Okay, so this shape here um, is going to hit us back for three every time we hit it. So we need to build up some block before we do, or we can just use our poison on it. So I'm going to just start out by taking out, or not taking out, but getting a little bit of block. And then we're going to draw some cards. And then we're going to draw some more cards. Okay. Let's use... Dash here. And then... I could have done that the other way around, but... Too late now. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and poison him, that will help a lot. And then I think we'll go with Blade Dance to get some more rank. Okay, we can take him out this turn, so that's no issue. take him out while we can. And we'll end up playing bullet, er, bullet time this turn. And there we go. Backstab would be useful at the start of our first turn, but we already have too many cards, um, so let's not do that. Well laid plans is always nice to have, so let's take that one. Endless Agony is not going to help us because that's never going to end up being zero cost. Alright, the Transient. Um, you have five turns to take him out. Every turn he deals 10 more damage to you, but when you deal damage to him, he um, takes uh, a loss of strength based on how many hip or how much damage you deal. So for instance here, we're going to deal 4 to him, and now he's only going to hit us for 26. So... If you can make it work to where you don't have to block, then let's see. Then you can focus on just playing attacks on him every turn. Okay, so we got a zero cost bullet time, so that's gonna be great. What we want to do first is get as many cards into our hand as we can so that we can then play them all. So I'm going to play 
white out of the way. And we'll go ahead and play our backflip here. And we'll grab our adrenaline. That's all of our draw. So let's go ahead and play bullet time. We're going to have our pen nib proc on the next, um, after the next attack. So we'll be able to play eviscerate really well for that. Get 60 to him. Um, Wraith form is going to be helpful because that's going to last longer than his amount of life. don't think we'll end up being able to take him out, but we can try. Alright, we get some bonus from Sneaky Strike. Yeah, unfortunately this deck's just not going to be strong enough to pick him out. And after this turn, he's going to just go away. So we're at full health, we don't need to worry about bite. Okay, we've got two backflips already. Don't think we're gonna really need a third, but we can always use more poison. I think let's take that. Okay. So I've got one, two elites, then a chest, and three events, or three random rooms before the boss going this way. That's pretty doable. Or if we go this way, we've got an elite campfire, and another campfire. And we can come over here, take this elite before the end. I kind of like that. What do we want to prioritize upgrading if we do? Probably our Wraith Forms. Yeah, let's take this path. Uh, this event is going to let us add uh, one or more colorless cards to our deck. I really don't want to sacrifice any of my hit points right now going into an Act 3 Elite fight. So let's take our one colorless card. Dark Shackles will be helpful. I think that's what we're going to take. Okay, so this guy every other turn, he gains intangible, which means we can't deal more than one damage to him. It's actually not a bad starting hand. Definitely want to neutralize him so that when he attacks next turn, he's going to be weaker. Time's not super useful here, but that's okay. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Well, there goes that potion. Okay, so we are taking 12 or Let's see, we'll get four block from that, four block from there. And five, that makes 14. So that'll be fine. Let's take that route. And some more poison. This is going to hurt. So let's play our bite. Upgrade. Hope we draw something useful. We use the wraith form. If we take our cunning potion, we'll get some more block. I think that's what I need to do here. health back. This is going to let us get rid of that burn. And we're going to play our bullet time. Mob Bank would have been great earlier on, but we're still going to get 12 gold for every floor we claim. Finisher is really nice when you have a shiv deck. Um, let's go ahead and take that. Okay. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and rest here. Since we've got quite a bit of Act 3 left to go, and I'd like to maybe take out another Elite. Okay. So here we got our card game. Let's just hope we don't take anything terrible. I don't need a masterful stab for twelve. Okay, well, wasn't good, wasn't bad. Alright, so now we can put Apotheosis in our opening hand. Just want to make sure there's nothing else we... Yep. Okay, so if I go up here, three, all, or three events, then two bad guys. I go here, I can get an elite. Let's go this way. I'm going to upgrade Wraith Form.
Okay. So let's start with Bathiosis. And then we've got three turns of intangibility. That apotheosis on turn one is also going to upgrade the shivs that we start our hand with every or that we start with every time. So that's nice. Um let's go ahead and grab another Wraith form. It's gonna give us five turns to take him out before things get bad. I think we shouldn't have a problem with that. Need a big turn. Okay. This might be it. This would be our big turn we were looking for. So what I just need to make sure to do is I want to get as many cards in my hand as possible before I play bullet time. Because it's not gonna let us draw any extra cards after we play it. So I'm going to play now I'm going to draw four. Get rid of Survivor. And then we can play our bullet time. Everything costs zero. Keep an eye on our pin nib up here. I don't think that's going to come into play. But we can still deal 66. Add some poison to him here. See if we can't get anything. Well, that'll help. Just in case. Okay. So we only need to deal seven. I can do that with poison here, which leaves our pin nib ready to proc at the beginning of the next fight. Crippling Cloud would be a good one to take if we were going against the shapes up at the top. Um, I think another Eviscerate is the answer here. Well, shoot. Okay, so we get a free upgrade everything. Free block. Eighteen damage three times is going to be fifty-four. That'll take him out. I think I'm gonna actually do that. This card for free.
Can we use some strength? And done. And we get to start our elite fight with the pin nib propped again. I'm just gonna skip here. Um, don't forget, you can always skip. I don't think I have skipped uh, too many cards this run, but you can always skip. We don't have a whole lot of issue drawing cards. Um, yeah, let's skip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fight my elite here. Giant Head has huge amounts of health, but that's really the only thing you have to worry about against him. Six. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Then I'm going to keep my finisher. Maybe. Also, every card you play, um, you're going to deal more damage to the giant head. Now let's just go ahead and play that. Wraith form is the way to go here. Get some block. Okay, we got our bullet time, but I don't see. Okay, we do have one draw card. So, let's get as many cards in hand as we can. Go ahead and put Bite here. And we will discard... Piercing Whale. Going to allow us to play Sneaky Strike for free. And then we can draw some more cards. Now we play Bullet Time. And we have fun. Alright, 66. I don't have Finisher, so... Alright, and we'll take him out next turn. Or maybe we won't take him out this turn. Let's see if we can't find anything useful. There we go. And he's gone. Oh, this would have been so useful earlier. Oh, well. Think Blur? is actually going to be useful here. Um, and let's see what our last event is. Finding potions. Great. Let's see. I'm going to take the block potion. I don't think... We need the attack. I don't think the attack potion is going to be as useful as either of these. So, all right, we're going into the last campfire with final or full health. We can upgrade our other wraith form. I think that's the choice here. Actually, it doesn't make any difference because we get apotheosis on turn one. So.
Would have been nice to have a shovel or a peace pipe on this run. Now, going into the final boss fight, um, Time Slug, like I said earlier, is going to stop your turn every time you play 12 cards. He's going to gain 2 strength. So this means we either want to play 12, 6, or 4 cards every turn, if we can. This is not a great opening hand. But, let's see what we can do. Okay. Also, when he gets down to half health, or, or below, he will heal back up to half health and take away any debuffs that he's got. So just remember that. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Oh, I did that backwards. Alright, so we'll be able to play five cards on our next turn. He's gonna hit us really hard. Okay. Let's go ahead and play one, two, Three and then two of the ships. Then I'll hang on to Wraithborn. Oh, I had I can't hang on to Wraithborn. I haven't drawn my um, well laid plans yet. Wraith form. We can play three more. Take power. Deal some extra poison to him. Oh, we'll get two of them. That's right. And that's perfect. That'll put us at 12. Okay. Well laid plans would be the only card. So we could only play two, which isn't too bad. Uh, he's not going to hit us this turn, so let's play Well Laid Plans and Eviscerate. I don't want to keep any of these. Okay, so now we can play up to 10 cards this turn. So, how are we going to do this? We also have Finisher. So, we want to try to get the Finisher to proc. Or, get the Pin Nib to proc with the Finisher. I think we can make that happen. So, let's see. Five more. Just, I want to get a few cards out of hand before I play Acrobatics. So I'm going to burn one playing this Defend. I 
and then we can get rid of bite and pork. Oh, we only have to get rid of one. Okay. Four cards left. I'll play this. That'll be ten. And then I would need to play one. Yeah, let's do that. So here we go. Play dance. Play my shiv. It's card number 11. Procs our pin nib. Now we're going to deal 100 damage. And then I can retain... My two shivs, I guess. Okay, so now this turn, if we don't take him down all the way, he will um, he will heal back up to half health and remove all of his debuffs. So let's do as much as we can. Three more cards this turn. Okay, I discarded one, but I still won't be able to play Sneaky Strike. Okay. I really wanted to save my Rake form for next turn. But that's only going to leave me with one card to play on that turn as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'll just leave two cards for that turn into my turn now. Take the Wraith form. And we'll go Wraith Form. Dash. Keep my finisher in bullet time. So now I should be good to have a really big turn here and play 12 cards and I'm gonna go ahead and get as many into my hand as I can I'm out of draw so I'm gonna go ahead and play my bullet time some block for the next turn. There's pin nib, so let's go ahead and play eviscerate. And we're at six, so I can go ahead and play my blade dance. And we'll finish with the finisher. And there's Ascension 1. So come on back next time for Ascension 2. Like and subscribe down below if you liked this video. And I'll see you all soon.